So I wanted to make a tutorial that showed how to get a perfectly symmetrical model through Z-Spheres and then also have a nice decent workflow to go from Z-Spheres to a workable model by keeping the polygon count at a reasonable level. So when you have your Z-Sphere model, you want to make sure that at least you could be able to divide this in half. Because right now I'm only concerned about one side. I'm only concerned about this side. Okay, I don't care about this side. He could look like that. He could look like that for all I care. I just want to use this side. So by drawing a mask like this, I get to use this line to make sure that he's divided. And he looks pretty good. And I want to check from also the front. And he's off a little. Looks like I could bring the nose and the mouth over more. Actually, no, it's the tail. So I want to make sure that he's also, I can split him down the middle this way. Looks pretty good. So then you're going to press A to go into your uh, adaptive skin, which is here. And you want to make sure that he's down to a density of 1 and a dynamesh of 256. And again, I don't care about this side. Now, once you got them like that, you want to go to your geometry. And you want to go to topology. Well, actually, you won't see. You're going to have to go to, if you don't have the menu, you're going to have to go to Make Polygon Mesh 3D and click it. And that converts them. That also gives you more choices under your geometry tab. So now you have a tab called Modify Topology. You click that. And then under Delete by Symmetry, you want to click that. And that gets rid of one half of the model. And you're only dealing with this side, which is the side I want. Then you go up to Mirror and Weld. And that mirrors and welds. Now, interesting, if you go over to the Polygon Count, and you look, you know, you got like, I mean, there's a lot of polygons, and, and it's kind of like all over, like sh kind of strange things going on here from the, the seam. So what I do is I then go to Z Remesher, and I use the target polygon count. Now, I usually do it at one or two. I'm going to do two. Now, the higher this number, the higher the polygon count. So if I do six, it's going to be six times as high. I'm going to go to two and hit remesher. And what that's going to do is that's going to take all of the uh, polygons and just remesh it onto a new polygon count. And just let it. All right, it's done. So now we go to take a look. Now you can see it looks more like a box model. And it fixed the little funky thing going on in the seam. And you got a pretty decent uh, topology. And if you look up here, your active points, your polygon count is only at 9,000. Now, if you would have uh, chose three, or four, this would have been higher. So now you have uh, the active points of 9,000. And again, if you would have changed this to three or four, the polygon count would be higher. You'd have a better deformation, but at the cost of higher polygons. And you don't want it that high to begin with. So to me, this is perfect. Now, what we could do, we're at this level. I could put in my um, symmetry. And you'll notice that it's perfect. Perfect. 
it's perfectly symmetrical. I don't have to deal with the brushes going off slightly as you get down over here because the problems I was running into it was symmetrical here and when I got to certain areas of the mesh it wasn't symmetrical and that drove me crazy so this pretty much uh, I dealt with that so after you get the mesh the way you want it and you can make your changes Oop. come here can't stand this ZBrush navigation. Can never get used to it. So after you get it to the way you want, and then you hit divide, and it brings it up one level. You know, you bring it up to a nice decent mesh, and you're only at 36,000. And then you can hit the smooth, and you could just smooth out any of the things. And then you can continue to work. And you have a perfectly symmetrical model. It works perfect. And that's basically my workflow. That gets me, uh, at least for me anyway. Now, there's many ways you could do it, but. This seems to be, I mean, if there's a better way out there, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to try it out. You know, and then when you go up a couple of more, I mean, I'm up to now 2 million, and it's a pretty, you know. That's nice defamation. Okay, so hope that helped. See ya.